Welcome back all over here again. We are here at the wetland stable and every time I come by the wetland stable I like to do two things. Buy, do not ever take anything for free from beetle in exchange for a beetle. It is a waste of a beetle. He does never give you anything good. All right, I always like to buy smothering butterflies from him. Why? Because that's a material that's hard to find later on in the game when you need to do some suit upgrading. So every time I come by here, I buy those from Beetle. I also pick up all of my big hardy radishes, which I so graciously marked on the map for you. And when we get the map, those will already be pinned for you. Or stamped, I should say. Okay, so for now we're going to head out of the wetland stable, north. And the horse is going to want to go left on this pathway. Don't. Instead, you're going to want to turn them right. And there's some more stuff to do here in the area. I'm going to ignore him. Okay, so we're going to kind of go off-road here for just a minute, head toward those trees. Uh, you're going to have a few guys on horseback. They're a little bit of a nuisance, so go ahead and take care of them. And uh, headshot with a... Uh, A headshot with a, uh... God, what was that thing called? A knight's bow, excuse me. <laughs> One headshot with a knight's bow should take care of him for you. Okay, so why did we come off-road and come over here? There's a croc seed. We just need to deal with the guys on horseback first, that's all. And of course, don't forget about your monster parts. I don't really recommend those spears, they're not very durable anyway. I think they're called Spiked Boko Spear. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and get back on the roadway here. Heading back over toward the castle now. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you on the map what we were doing. So that bad boy was right there. Okay, so let's get back on the road heading north. Okay, we're going to veer off road one more time. As soon as this uh, little mountain range opens up and you see trees, take a right and go inside there. Reason being, there's a big hardy radish and a couple of bears. Both kinds of bears are here, so for you picture takers, now's the time. And I am actually going to upgrade to my Royal Bow because these guys do not go down fast. Especially that one. One of these doesn't go down fast. Actually, I think I got them both. One single headshot. Cool! So raw gourmet meat. Only one? That's kind of chintzy. And you got some honey in this here cave. And your big hearty radish right here. And there is a croc seed in the area as well. We're going to be able to upgrade our inventory more before you know it. Oh, I know why I killed those bears in one headshot. I had an attack power meal still working for me. I guess I forgot about that dude. 60 croc seeds. Yeah, I could actually go buy my last weapon slot now. Last inventory. Expansion for weapons. And the final one is, of course, reserved for the Master Sword. Ten points! Okay, so back on the road. Just let the horse do the work. Don't forget your gemstones. Okay, so when we get to right about here where this big hollowed out tree stump is, we are going to dismount, and we're going to be back within a map viewing area now of our uh, central map, I believe this was, central tower. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to visit all of these little circles. Those are all hollowed out tree stumps. I call this area Sleepy Hollow for a reason. They're all Sleepy Hollow tree stumps. So the reason for this is... There is a shrine in one of these. There's a lot of croc seeds in the area. So lots to do. Let's get to it. 
Uh, the first one is going to be a dancing idiot. I think it's a flame guy. So we are going to get ready an ice arrow with a burner bow. There he is, and he just saw me. That really sucks. So for you picture takers, make sure you get pictures of all these guys. Because you're going to have both kinds of dancing idiots for every elemental weapon. You're going to have... So say for the fire guy, you're going to have the fire guy, and then you're going to have the meteor guy, which is the stronger version. So you picture takers, get the picture of the bad guy, and then his corresponding weapon. This is a great place to get all those elemental enemies and corresponding weapons out of the way. As soon as this fire stops burning, my monster parts will fall down to me. And most of these tree, uh, Sleepy Hollow tree stumps has a treasure chest. That one does not, but all the rest do. Okay, so I'm just going to keep climbing uphill here. As soon as I get to the top of this little mountain peak, or hilltop, or whatever you want to call it, uh, there will be a Korok seed waiting for us. As with most hilltops or mountaintops in this game, as I'm sure you guys are probably starting to figure out by now. And don't worry, I'll give you a map shot here in a second. You know, I always wonder, is that helpful? I, You know, I always mean to ask you guys, is this helpful when I do these little map zoom in and zoom outs to show you where we are? We're heading this way, by the way. So if you look down and see a whole bunch of those sleepy hollow trees, you're going the right way. I think this one has a ice idiot. Now, we're going to want his weapon, folks. Remember earlier on in my walkthrough when we were in the croc forest, we talked to that one dude, and we... Uh, we said we'd have to go get a, a freezing rod and come back to him later. This is it. This is the one you want. Blizzard rod. It's a good weapon. It will uh, shoot out a ball of ice around Link and freeze everything within range. Very, very good weapon to have on hand. But when you show that to that Karak, he will pay you a gold rupee for it. Not a bad deal. For just carrying in a weapon around and since we're going to go to the croc forest anyway to upgrade or i should say expand our inventory i guess it just kind of makes sense uh to get our gold rupee while we're there all right so i think our shrine is right next to me here yes so just go ahead and activate the travel gate for now Oh, and at night, you're going to have a stall moblin here, so do be aware of him. Okay, this Sleepy Hollow here just has a bunch of bats. And uh, it's also going to have some uh, gemstones. I probably don't want to be carrying around that ice rod right now. Stand by. There we go. Okay, so go ahead and climb this tree, assuming you didn't accidentally bomb it and knock it down. Like I almost did with this bat here. Cool. Alrighty, so that was that there's Sleepy Hollow. Uh, I think that one has an electric guy in it with another treasure chest. But right now I'm just going to kind of move along. I'm just really here for the Karak seeds. Uh, so you guys are welcome to venture around this whole area, get all these treasure chests, get all the uh, enemy pictures and all that good stuff. Oh, and it's best to be here at night, by the way. That will give you the most uh, ele elemental bats and all that stuff. Okay, so from here we're going to venture down south, south, east. 
And there should be another tree hollow thing on its side. There it is right in front of me. And there's yet another croc seed. Come on, Link. Uh, do be aware, these bobkins here have bomb arrows, and they hurt. Not to mention they'll light you on fire, which is never a good day. Ah, crap. I didn't even see him. Where are you at? Jerk. Ah, he blew himself up. That's what you get! Okay, so now I'm going to head toward that bridge. And I'll show you on the map where we're at here in a moment. I'm kind of afraid it might be a Blood Moon Knight. Oh, a shooting star. Son of a gun. You know what? I'm going to break video, folks. We need to go get that shooting star. I have not had a chance yet to show you that. Oh, well, never mind. There's no beam of light coming up. That means it's a dud. That's unfortunate. Okay, disregard. So here we are at this bridge. Uh, there will be a Karak seed husk hanging down. I will try to highlight it for you with my yellow rune. And I'll show you on the map where we're at. Seto, Ostretto, Bridge, or whatever that's called. And right underneath the bridge, we've got a treasure chest. Okay, so now we're going to head upstream, up against the flow of the current there. Upriver, whatever you want to call that. Come on, Link, sort it out, dude. God, I hate the character control in this game. This is my least favorite of all the Zelda games as far as character control and horse controls. I don't know what they were thinking in this one. Maybe they just wanted to make it more challenging? I don't know. All right, so anyway, we're just going to head upstream here. There's going to be some more treasure chests. And I'm not going to get them all because they're weapons I don't really want yet, like soldiers level. So later on when we get better weapons drops, we'll, I'll come back for these. Actually, I think one of them might be rupees. That. Jerks. Stop it. Ah! So just stasis one of them, the rest will leave you alone. That was annoying. Well, of course the one you stasis will actually come for you, but the rest will go away. Okay, so that one was the purple rupee. That was a good find. Alright, and there's another croc seed right around here, running around on the ground, glistening, swirling pile of leaves. Oops, don't need a stamp there. Alright, continuing on upstream. Oh yeah, one of these little stone pebblets. Okay, and I'm kind of tempting fate here with my video camera. I'm afraid my battery's about to die any second now. So I do need to break video, folks, unfortunately. When we come back, we're going to wrap up Sleepy Hollow.